This is in people gear, cargo kit bag. Quick draw demonstration. So first, you need to keep the pass riders at this corner. And dominant hand thumb on this vertical zip pass rider, just push it down and then while your hand going in there, non-dominant hand pull the slider, not this paracord, but put the hand in there and slide it open. At the same time, yank it open like this. Pretty quick. I purchased this just recently for mainly taking the photos like these photos and also a video. If you are familiar with Hill People Gear Chest Rig, you are probably thinking about this, right? But since YouTube doesn't like that content, uh, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I will be focusing on this kit bag for photo video use. So first, unlike the chest rig for carrying a, uh, you know, you can't open the same way because of the uh, thickness of the compartment. It's three inches deep, deeper than the SRK, which is the deepest, I believe. This is still new to me, but what I have found the easiest, quickest way to deploy the camera is you don't have to pull the zipper tag. So I usually keep this zipper at this corner and open this way. So your dominant hand, your non-dominant hand is ready here. And pull the zipper down with your thumb and then at the same time you grab this corner and your hand is pulling zipper this way and yank open this way at the same time. And then you can quickly grab the camera and draw and shoot. If you want to shoot right after the camera comes out from the bag, you can remove the lens cap and I keep the camera like this. So the camera doesn't throw you around in the bag and every time the camera is in the same position so it's easy to grab and throw. So the pass riders at this corner use a dominant hand thumb and pull it down and like this. And reholstering is a little bit Aqua, not that bad, but you basically have to pinch it and then like this. Uh, once you get used to, you can do this a lot more smoothly. The reason I need to draw that quickly is because I mostly got this for, like I said earlier, shooting animals. Uh, that sounds wrong shooting animals, um, filming animals, taking videos and photos of animals. Anyway, they don't wait for me to get ready. So, you know, that's why I need to do the quick draw and the shoot. So far, I really like it. It's more comfortable than carrying the same gear, same weight in sling bag, shoulder bag, because of evenly distributed weight I can run around you know, one of the reasons I got this was because when I take photos and videos in the field sometimes I have to go up and down the really steep hill another thing is in the city environment I often actually almost always shoot without permit 
So if anything goes wrong, uh, with this gear I can quickly reholster and then run, which is kind of important. So this kit bag is set up for XH2, which I mainly purchased for taking photos and do some videos. So let me show you what I have inside. People tend to overpack those things, so I try not to put too much stuff in there. So in this pocket, microfiber clothes, always handy, and in case I dropped it. I have brand new microfiber cloth on this side. That's all in this front pocket. Next, front compartment. Zipper runs only this far. So you don't have to worry about it flipping down and dump everything on the ground. So, my short memo. And I keep only two filters. Stuck together. One is six stop fixed ND. The other is uh, CPL. Carrying this way, I don't need to carry a filter case filter pouch. This is for when I am filming video, when I do rack focus. Oh, um, this pocket is, this pocket is empty right now because I am using it. This pocket, I usually have DL10L Pro audio recorder, and then lab mic, and then this side pocket, I have in-ear monitor from Sennheiser. I prefer regular headphone, but obviously it doesn't fit in here. That's it for front compartment. Main camera compartment. Oh, by the way, zipper only runs this far and this far. So again, it only opens this much. It's not going to drop down. Um, Fuji XH2, not S, XH2, and this is vintage Canon FD, 85mm f1.2 lens with Nissi VND filter. VND is a must on this camera. I mean, if you shoot video. So this thing right here, this is called organizer bucket. And this is large, tall size. The reference. Size reference. Um, Hill People Gear's website actually shows the dimension, I believe. This is the biggest lens in terms of diameter that I normally use. So I wanted this one to be big enough to hold this. And I have microfiber towel stuck in there, so I can put this thing in without a lens cap. I usually keep the lens cap but once I get to the field, um, I often take off the lens cap and just keep the camera in here. It is slightly angled, the natural angle to draw anyhow. And I have 
although I don't change the lenses once I'm out there with this setup I still have mini rocket duster because um, in the field things can get dusty and uh, it is nice to have this um, so rocket duster goes underneath the lens and damn. and behind behind this organizer bucket I have this this is not a knuckle duster although it probably functions as you know knuckle duster but this is the top handle for XH2 on my XT4 top handle is kind of permanently attached I, um, I always use it with top handle but with this one no this is mostly for photos and because of this organizer bucket this thing will never bang into the camera which is a good thing and because of the way it is stuck behind this in case of emergency i can quickly grab and no i'm just joking don't take it seriously um, uh, main, main compartment has seen large single pocket it has no divider no organizer which is a cool thing so i have oh i have one extra battery um, flash um, this is for custom white balance I picked up this idea from Marcus Pick's uh, video that's why it's so cramped I can also use it for taking memo and my tiger stripe oversized bandana I always need these things. They are so useful. I usually keep tiger stripe or wood run in here. I guess that's it for this video. I also purchased this one. Basically this will convert this kit bag into a one shoulder sling. I haven't tried it yet. I guess that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Almost forgot. The front pocket can be used for mounting GoPro also. Like this. So if you have to take off your iPro during the shooting, I mean filming, this Mori strap provide an excellent place to temporarily keep your eye pro. Just don't keep your zip up on this side. It can get, you know, tangled up. I usually keep these zip up on top gator specter. I really like them. These pairs have OPZ lenses. You can operate the cameras, no problem. You can look at the screen, EVF, no problem at all.